Welcome back. Now, it is no secret that under the unpopular and embattled Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Canada has now become a safe haven for Khalistani extremists. Not only the Khalistanis are given a free run and platform, they are also employed by the Canadian government, Justin Trudeau, who literally bludgeoned his country's diplomatic relationship with India, appeasing his Khalistani vote bank. Now, should look at this credible evidence that Times Now is going to show you now. This is a super exclusive news break for our viewers. Then we will reveal how the Canada Border Service Agency, they took in, they hired a Khalistani terrorist, Sandeep Singh Sidhu, and gave him employment. So imagine a man who is listed and named for terror activities and extradition by India, a man who is accused of executing the targeted killing of a nationalist and a Shore Chakra Wadi, a teacher Balvinder Singh Sandhu, by the world's largest democracy, is actually getting his paychecks from the Canadian tax dollars. Times Now senior news editor Bhavto Singh wrote to the authorities at the Canadian Border Service Agency and asked if the CBSA can actually clarify that this Siddhu, this man who was named in the NIA dossier as a significant entity is involved in promoting terror activities in Punjab, if this man is actually working with the CBSA, to which the CBSA has confirmed that yes, Sandeep Singh Sidhu is a CBSA employee. They have claimed that they have no evidence to support the allegations that have been made against him by India. Let's quickly go across to Bhavto Singh also to get us more on the story and a confirmation that he got from the Canadian authorities. Agrika, my colleague, is also joining us live right now. Bhavtosh, what was the reply or the response that you got from the Canadian authorities? Well, uh, they had, in fact, uh, admitted that he is working with them. But what is more shocking uh, is the defiance. They have said that there is no credible evidence and uh, that he has uh, that he has committed this crime. And they have, in fact, uh, completely uh, debunked uh, the charges that have been leveled uh, against him. Remember, this case is being probed by the NIA, which is a federal probe agency, since 2021, only because this case has been transferred because of the seriousness. And uh, this matter, in fact, last week went into the Supreme Court and NIA in a affidavit had uh, said that Sidhu uh, and uh, another person, uh, uh, Lakhbir Singh Rode, uh, they were the main conspirators and it was the Khalistan Liberation Force that decided and masterminded this entire uh, case of killing the Shorya Chakra win uh, winner. And uh, this conspiracy was hashed by two accused who are based out of US and Canada. Despite uh, evidence being given uh, to Canada, uh, this uh, mail or this, uh, in fact, uh, interaction between Times Now and uh, Canadian authorities clearly shows that they are not willing to accept the fact that uh, he is a wanted terrorist and that he has evidence against him. They in fact said that they have checked his background not once or twice but uh, even when he was promoted to the post of superintendent, they had done a background check and they are not willing to accept the fact that he is a wanted terrorist in India. Well, uh, Sagrika, it seems to be a diabolical plot. This man who is also wanted for promoting terror activities in Punjab the Canadian Border Service Agency says that it follows a thorough extensive clearance process to make sure that it hires the right people. First, let me show you the confirmation that our senior news editor Bhavtosh got from the Canadian authorities and it's in black and white, Amita. The letter, and like Bhavtosh was saying, the defiance and the confirmation will leave you baffled. The Canada Border Service Agency is aware of allegations raised in articles and can confirm that Mr. Sidhu is a CBSA employee. So one, they've taken note of the fact that the man they've given employment to is accused of very, very serious charges of terrorism in India. He is the most wanted in India. And then they say all CBSA employees are subject to background checks and reviews prior to their employment periodically throughout their career and in response to allegations that call into question their reliability. The CBSA can confirm that we have no evidence to support the allegations made in these articles. So the CBSA says right. that yes, we acknowledge the articles that have gone ahead and made these uh, charges that the Indian government has told us about a man who faces charges right. of terrorism. He has been employed and not just employed, well, he has been promoted. questions that are being raised on the response also as far as uh, when it comes to the CBSA on part of the Canadian authorities, Bhavtosh and Sagrika. Thank you very much for joining in.